Hey guys, Ariel Posen here. Today I'm going to take you through my rig, what I'm currently using, how I'm using it. Let's jump into it. So, this guitar here is a Josh Williams Mockingbird. You know, based off a of 335, super dynamic, stays in tune, resonates like crazy. Uh, we've got Ron Ellis pickups in here, which are fantastic. And we're going through a Two Rock Classic Reverb. Right now, I am going through nothing, pedal-wise. We're going straight into the amp. Okay. As you can see in the board, um, everything is running through the Morningstar MC6, which basically has all my pedals running through it. So I can switch, easy access. The only two pedals at the moment that aren't going through it are the Tonal Recall by Chase Bliss and the Dark World. Now the reason for that is because the Tonal Recall, I'm just using as a slap right now, so it usually is on all the time. So it doesn't actually need to be in the loop because I basically never turn it off. So that sounds like this. So it's a really nice delay. It, like those of you that know it, know its capabilities are crazy. And maybe for recording, it's a different story. It is in fact, because I'll use it in different ways. For live, it's a slap. Okay, after that, we got the Walrus Audio Monument, which is a great tremolo pedal. I am using it only for the harmonic tremolo, and it sounds like this. Okay, beautiful trim. When I can, I will use uh, like a Victoria Reverberato, but today I do not have it with me, so that's what we're using. It still sounds great. After that, we have The Dark World by Chase Bliss. Now, as you can tell, amp reverb is pretty hot. We're not being shy with that. However, sometimes you want just more, and these days I'm not really a long delay guy. If I want to add trails of any kind, I'm, I like to use like a plate reverb. And the Dark World does a magnificent one. It sounds like this. With it. Again, does so much more than just a plate, but that's primarily what I like to use it for. Okay, after that, we go to the Eventide H9. Now, you guys know that the H9 is capable of so many sounds. 
And that is the truth. I have about two pages on the Morningstar worth of different options and sounds that I like to use often. So I'll just go through a few of them and show you what they sound like. So first of all, I use a little bit of a Leslie sound. Okay, I have this filtery sound that you have heard on my song, Carry Me Home. I do have a tape delay going, just in case. Sounds like this. And it's going and going. This sound is cool. It's like a, uh, it's emulating miking it like a room. As if like when you're in the studio and you far mic, so it gives you the sound that like it's from, it's from a distance. Here it is. This is without it. Pretty cool. I don't know if it comes across on video, but live. It's pretty fun. And then just a couple other ones. We got this dark reverse re reverb. We have this hall reverb. Another delay. Really not much repeats. Now I don't use this sound often, but those of you that are familiar with Eventide products, you've probably heard this seagull sound. It's a very specific thing. It's cool. You never know when you might use something like that. So that's the H9. Now we are getting into overdrive. So um, the first pedal that comes after the H9 would be my signature pedal by Hudson Electronics. It's the Broadcast AP. Currently I have it set as a not too dirty thing because I'll sometimes stack it with another overdrive. So right now it sounds like this. Also very dynamic if I turn the volume down. You know, it's clean with that hair. Next is a Vemuram Janray. Sounds like this. I'll often use this as like an always on as well.
You know, it just rocks. I don't have it super dirty, but it still gives you a lot of hair, which I love. Okay, second last pedal is the Mini Fuzz by King Tone. Great fuzz pedal. Sounds like this. I usually use it with an overdrive on already, so I'll show you on its own first, and then I'll put on the other pedal. So on its own, sounds like this. So if I hit it with the Jan Ray, and then the last pedal is the Argo by Mythos, which is just a clean upper octave. There's no foot switch. It's either on or it's off. There's a foot switch, there's just no knobs. Here, here's what it sounds like, with the Jan Ray on. Just on its own. Kick on that reverb. So there it is. That's how I'm using the pedals right now. Hope you dug it. Thanks.